The Associate Immuno Act has received an approval from the Central Drug Standard Control Organization for India's first CAR T cell therapy. Ekta, tell us a little bit about this. What would the implications be for Loris Labs itself? Well, for Loris Labs, it's definitely a positive because, you know, this uh, it's an associate company where they've invested around $18 million, which has received approval from the Indian drug regulator to basically commercialize their CAR T cell therapy drug in India. So this CAR T cell therapy is a part of immunotherapy. Now immunotherapy is a type of cancer treatment. We all know about radiation, chemotherapy. So now immunotherapy has been used for a couple of decades and CAR T therapy is a part of that. So what happens is that basically it is a platform which is uh, utilized as a type of therapy. You take the drug, you uh, sort of you know change it in the lab, uh, the cells, and then you infuse it back into the person. And that, the effectiveness of it against especially blood cancers is expected to be extremely high. So that is the approval that they've received for a drug which is used to treat leukemia as well as lymphoma. Now, uh, it is definitely going to be a positive for Loris Labs, but the key point of this is that this CAR T therapy, if you ever wanted to access it in India, it costs three to four crores per patient otherwise. You have to import the drug. Now what's going to happen is that this, pay, this drug is available in India and will be available at a fraction of a cost compared to the price that you're paying otherwise. It would be available at around 30 to 40 lakhs. And in fact, the company Immuno Act is looking to bring down the price further. To talk more about this,